All right, Fatty here with another video lesson. Um, today's Tuesday, January eleventh, twenty twenty-two. Uh, kind of a mixed day. Started off iffy. I woke up late. Uh, let's see. That the ones I missed in the morning were Ness and NTRB. Right out of my watch list yesterday. Let's see here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. There we go. There we go. I know it was in here somewhere. Okay. I am missing it. Oh, here's Ness. Okay. Looking for a test of 320s. Uh, just looking for that VWAP uh, hold. Once we get a low momentum shift after a recent spike. And it that's exactly what happened. We got this gradual climb. Kind of exhausting. Very choppy. Small market cap and float. Decent volume. And after this few day fade. Tried to put in a body yesterday. I thought we could maybe do something today. If we get a momentum shift. Right out of the gate. It just takes off. Holds VWAP. Consolidates for a bit. The 260s, 270s. If I were awake, that would have been perfect for a quick snipe right to the 320 area. Got to 317, just absolutely perfect. Um, and then from there on, it just shit the bed. I did have a small loss on it late day. Volume was not great with a bunch of overhead resistance. I thought we could get to maybe to the mid threes if it failed to break down. Low float, doing some decent volume, coming back, volume per, or yeah, the volume perking and getting above VWAP. And we got this triangle forming. I thought we might get something good, just a quick snipe. Ended up just being a horrible panic. Just tanked, uh, I had my stop at 89 or 88, got stopped out at 78, just right through it, near the bottoms here, and then just failed, so this was kind of off my list, nothing great about it now for me, unless maybe it comes back to the 4.5 area, but still overall too much overhead resistance, just kind of stay away from this now. The other one was NTRB, which I'm pretty sure is, where is it? I don't know why it's not here, because it was one of my top watches for a multi-day breakout. I don't know, whatever. Point is, just a perfect play, multi-day breakout. You get the solid parabolic play here, about 300% or so. You get the fade, and now we're just looking for the bounce. Just like a bouncing ball, the momentum is just going to slowly die out. Sometimes it dies out very quick if there's a catalyst or anything. But generally speaking, you get these few day fade, few days of fade, and then shorts end up covering and buyers come back when it's a dip buy opportunity. And that's exactly what we got here with this multi-day bounce. Took off from sit. What, what did it open at? Five ninety-nine. Took off to eight fifty-five. Huge gap up when it got halted here. So wasn't too mad about that because there wasn't really a great opportunity. But then here, I even tweeted about this as a potential play to retest. Um, Day high, maybe even get to nine. I was looking for a VWAP play here. Failed to break down. Decent, uh, super low flow. I don't say super low. Flow. That's pretty, pretty low flow. Uh, low market cap. Good volume, rotating the flow at the time as well. So a lot of bullish indicators on this on the side of this ticker. So. Yeah, just easy, quick play, similar to Relay from yesterday, for being honest, because it kind of was a patience game. Uh, this was a little exhausting, but same thing with Relay yesterday. Let 
that you uphold. That, that first perk consolidates a bit. Not sure exactly what's going to happen. Then you get the follow through in the top. Um, yeah, kind of puts in a quick top. Consolidates for a little bit up there, not a whole ton. This one was much quicker. But yeah, I was expecting 850 double top. I didn't think we'd get a fake out. I thought we'd maybe. After seeing this, I was ready just to get out in the mid eights. So that was pretty nice. That one covered um, the loss on Ness. This one was a $261 gain. Ness was a $60 loss. Small size. I wasn't feeling it too well, too much. It was just getting it started off, to, and then was gonna add later on. Didn't work out. It is what it is. Uh, well, let's see what else was there. Dwack. This one was a little annoying because we took the small loss on it yesterday, but it ended up doing most of what I wanted. Didn't reach my goals yet, but from my entry from yesterday this is a nice solid 15% or so maybe a little under that but yeah so this thing seems like it's confirming the breakout slight increase in volume we'll see what will happen um, I'm, I'm waiting for a test of the 90 ish area I think it will get to 90 so just waiting on that for volume to come through and ideally maybe some news a catalyst would help out that'd be very nicely that'd be very nice uh, but yeah besides that rely my plan for this not exact not too bad though just looking for a red to green move to test nine gapped up a little bit and then just took off to the mid eights and topped out there this thing is still holding up with a float like that, doing decent volume still, failing to break down, bouncing nicely into the close too, I think this thing, if it comes back and reclaims mid eights, I think we'll get a nice test. I think this thing could test ten and a half, maybe even break out. So as long as the trend is intact, shorts could get squeezed. We'll see what happens. Um. And I, this one also has a lot of shorts trapped as well. So, if any anything's going to spike in this market environment, I think it would be Relay or DWAC. Those have been kind of my top plays on watch the past two days now. Uh, besides Ness and NTRB out of nowhere. But these two, really expecting something out of them soon. If not, oh well. But for the time being going to keep them on my watch list every day, see what happens until volume dies, price action goes to shit, whatever it is. So before I start rambling much more, I'm just going to wrap this up. Just wanted to do a quick view of my trades. So, and the lesson from today was really uh, cutting your losses quickly. My loss would have been smaller on Ness if I didn't have uh, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call it? A market stop instead of a stop limit. So, oh, wrong ticker. So, I lost 10 extra cents. Didn't need that at all. So, it was going to be smaller. And that's how to trade. Smaller size, was slowly sizing in. Wasn't totally comfortable. And the one that I was a little bit more comfortable with, even though I didn't put in heavy size, put in more size than Ness, and as long as the trend was holding with this, it did what it, and then met my goals, I was, it just was perfect. This one was perfect. Even though it was choppy, had some aggressive pullbacks, it still kept holding trend, and as long as it's doing that, shorts could get squeezed, buyers keep coming in. In this case, you get, a weak, um, a low volume bounce here compared to the morning volume. Tops out, uses this as overhead resistance. Shorts probably stacking it into this pop here. And then you just get the huge fade. So, 
Wish I had sized up on NTRB, but overall, I think I executed these pretty well. And yeah, overall, pretty good day. Just gonna rinse and repeat. And yeah, I'm getting a little tired. It's getting late here. I'm starting to really ramble. I'll just cut this now. And yeah, I'll make another one for tomorrow as well.